guys, it is now May, which means that April has finally passed, and it was so much better than all the other months that came before it, so I figured we would talk about my April favorites today. First off, my favorite drink of the month is beer. Now that it's getting warmer, all I really want to do is sit outside and have my beer and April was a shitty cold month, but I still did it twice. And I'm gonna teach you a new word in Swedish today, and that is serviering, which is basically restaurants and bars allowing you to sit outside and drink beer on their little patio thingy. And that is great. <laughs> and it's my favorite thing. I managed to do that twice this month, and it was really cold, and I just took my beer, drank it, and then left. But now the weather is amazing in Stockholm, so hopefully that will change during May. I will do it plenty of times, but yay, I love beer. Some shitty weather is not gonna stop me from thinking it's summer in April. So for my favorite book of the month, you guys already know about this if you watched my last video, which was all the books that I read during April. And it's So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson. Now I talked a lot about the book in that video, so if you want to know exactly what I thought about it and, you know, what, what the premise is, you can watch it. I will link it in a card up here somewhere up on the screen. But I thought it was a phenomenal book because I think the topic of the book is very central to what we're dealing with right now, especially on YouTube. So we have this YouTube community right now where I think public shaming is an integral part of it because we have all these big YouTubers and they have a big fan base with really good people but also some people that aren't that great and then if they say something mean about someone else, all those people will just jump over and also like reinforce that. And so we have these drama wars all the time, which I don't like, oh, we don't like those. Um, and I think that this book gives you perspective on certain things and about what it actually like, what your stupid shitty comments can do to a person. And I'm not saying that people who get publicly shamed don't deserve getting told that they did something wrong. But being publicly shamed is so much more than that and I think that this book shows that. And it's very interesting. So if you use the computer and if you're interested in getting perspective on public shaming or like online shaming, I guess, then read this book. I gave it five out of five stars and I love it so much. So read it. And don't forget to think about what you do online, folks. For my favorite TV show of the month, I have been getting into anime lately, and I finally finished One Punch Man. And when I say finally, it is actually finally, because I started it in August last year. So <laughs> it was long overdue, but I finished it and I loved it. And if you don't know what One Punch Man is, you might still know what it is, because the main character, Saitama, has been floating around everywhere. So you probably have seen him. He is this bald superhero type of thing in a world where monsters are attacking Japan and they have all these heroes uniting and trying to uh, take care of these monsters so that they can protect the people of Japan. So Saitama, the main character, doesn't really look like much from the eye, like from your first glance. He's like a bald guy in a weird yellow suit, but he can take out any enemy with just one punch. And he is amazing, and it's a really, really funny and brilliant show. I think that the reason why I liked it so much is because I usually don't go for this type of anime, but this is sort of like a self-commentary on the genre, and it's hilarious. So if you've seen a lot of action-like animes, you'll probably like One Punch Man, because it sort of makes fun of itself, and it's great. For my favorite music of the month, I have been listening to a lot of Swedish pop music, and Sweden has really great pop music and I think that lately like we've always had a big some big exports and you have probably heard Swedish pop music because people like Robin or Avicii come from Avicii's house though but you get what I'm saying they come from Sweden and they make music in English and they export their music I am very interested in musicians that actually make music in Swedish and you know that it's gonna be a great summer when Veronica Maggio releases a new album it comes out tomorrow or actually today when I'm releasing this I guess and I am so excited I'm gonna leave her latest single in the description box for you guys 
because it is really great and maybe you're interested in hearing what a Swedish song would sound like or a Swedish pop song would sound like. This song has been stuck in my head for a really long time and all of her songs are amazing but like I can't stop singing it. I, I think it came out during May but I've been listening to her other songs previously. I'm just gonna talk about her anyway. <laughs> For those of you who would want a translation of the song, she's sort of singing like, oh, it's you and me against the world and blah blah blah. You don't really need it because the melody is amazing. So just listen to it. I will leave a link in the description. You are very welcome to join me in on the Veronica Maggio craze. So for my favorite project and my favorite buy of the month, I'm actually going to show you guys my bullet journal because I only bought one thing this month and it was this guy and it's actually helped me a lot in my life. I found some bullet journal things online I think on Pinterest and I was like okay this is the best thing ever because it's basically a way for you to collect all of your tasks and everything that you need to do and all of your projects in just one little book and it's also a way for you to be creative with yourself and Currently this month I've sort of been copying uh, spreads from Boho Berry and just trying to get into it, but the more time it goes, the more progressive I get and want to try new things. But it has actually helped me a lot with my fibromyalgia as well, because when I wake up and I'm having one of those really bad days and I just like can't get out of bed, this has helped me so much because I can just move things around, I can see all my tasks for the weeks already, and I can just move them around and realize that okay, I have permission to be sick today and I can do things tomorrow or the day after without feeling stressed. So even though like last month was I had a lot of tasks to do, I actually managed to read 10 books. Why? Because I had so much free time from organizing stuff. I'm gonna show you one of my current spreads because it is Game of Thrones season and I love Game of Thrones. I am actually painting Game of Thrones characters in there and this is actually something that I just like copied from someone else. So it's not my artwork. I just painted it. <laughs> I just copied. But it's a very cute. I will link the original source of the Jon Snow drawing in the description. It's so cute and it's probably one of the best things ever. Uh, if you're excited for Game of Thrones, please let me know. And if I decide to keep the bullet journal up, if you're interested, tell me below and I can maybe talk about it in the future, in a future video. Now that was probably everything that I had for this month. May is gonna be amazing because I'm gonna finish off school and then it's already the most amazing weather ever. So, you know, anything can get better than the start I had to this year. So yay, let's be excited for May. I wanna know what your April favorites are. So please let me know in the comments down below. And I would like to thank you so much for watching. Bye!